Hey, good day everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. There's been another update. They've seen more thunderstorm activity. They've seen more formation in the Caribbean. They moved it up to 60% chance of formation within the next five days. Let me go over what I got so far. Okay, it looks like it could be a possible hurricane for the Gulf guys. Now, if you go and check out the Icon model, and there's a couple models I'm going to show you. You'll see that the formation does start in the Western Caribbean. And then it starts moving up through the, the eastern gulf and goes towards the, the Florida panhandle. Now, if you see the last the last shot that we get is 960 millibars. That is a pretty strong hurricane right there, guys. And if this model shows true, this could, could, could continue to track northern towards Tallahassee. Some models show that it swings around uh, the western gulf and comes through as a low pressure. But the icon model does show the intensity in the area that they're talking about. Now, if I back up the view a little bit so you can see exactly what's going on, you can see it all the way from the Western Caribbean. It sits there and lingers for a while, builds up intensity, grabs the moisture, uh, and gives it the, the strength that it needs. Then it carries on on the 27th and starts making its push into the Gulf. And there's nothing stopping it as far as wind shear or any of that because all that is weak this time of year. Now, if you look at the total accumulation of rain, and you'll see the ledger is on it is on the right, you'll see the path pretty much that this rain is going. You think this is it. This is not it. This is other storms that are giving all this heavy rainfall. Then you're going to see the path uh, of Invest 95L coming through the Gulf right there. So we have to wait and see exactly a little bit closer to get more information. But if you go to the CFS, and you, and you check and see what the CFS shows. On the 144 hour, which is the 29th, it shows a low pressure over uh, Tallahassee, uh, Florida, and it shows it moving eastward towards the east coast. Now, if this is true, I'm sure that it could be another problem because there's another low pressure lingering around. It's not showing it on this model, but I will show it to you. I believe it's the Euro model. But it could be a possible nor'easter also in the, in the corner of the northeast right here. Uh, this is for the 30th, so we're seeing 27th, 28th, 29th by East Coast, and all the way to the 30th for the Northeast. Now, if you go to the Euro model, it shows you that the low pressure is actually on the western side uh, of the Gulf. It shows that it actually lingers even further west, and it goes all the way to the left, and it gets down only to 1,005 millibars. And with Euro, you, you can only check every 24 hours. So as it goes from the western gulf, it's going to form up and follow the high pressure all the way deep inland into Arkansas. And then it swings back around to the east, to the east coast. And when it meets up on the east coast, this low pressure up here follows with it. And they could actually collide. Now if you look on the first, you'll see that it's already on the east coast. It could be a, a, a weak tropical storm at that point. A potential nor nor'easter just like the other models showed. But again, here it is on a second. And both of these low pressures could meet up together as one giant storm. So let's just keep that in mind because Euro is not wrong a lot of times. And you all know this. Now, if we go through the ensembles and see what the models are showing, we go through the 6Z first so you can see exactly what's going on. And you'll see that most of the trends showing that it's going to the, the western of the, of, the care, of the Gulf of Mexico. See, this one shows... That is going to a 40 knot winds in the blue, get to the 50 in the green, then back to 40, then back to 50 as it gets on land for Texas and Louisiana. That would be a 50 knot wind uh, tropical storm. Uh, that's following that model. Some of the models sh does show go through uh, Florida, and, and a couple of them show it's going through the Bahamas still. Now, if you go through the, the, the next loop that we have, which is the, the 12Z, the 6Z. It's only showing this one going to the Florida as a possible tropical storm, but it's showing low pressures over on the left. But as you keep going through and you follow along, you'll see the trend of what they're talking about as far as direction for the Gulf. It's showing it again right here, going across Cuba, going towards Florida for a possible 40 knots. But it's also showing the 40 knot winds in the Gulf, and it's showing the 40 knot winds for Louisiana as well. So it's still up in the air as far as the exact tract of what could happen. But we got a good idea of where the storm could produce and where it could go. Once again, the 18Z, it shows a lot of uh, potential 40 knot wind activities going through the Bahamas. But it is showing two good models going right through the Gulf, get up to 40 knots 
And then it's showing a bunch of low pressure possibilities that could take that wide load. So we got to wait and get a little bit closer to see exactly what's going on. I just thought it was best to update you with the, with the latest information that's coming out. Because on something like this, last thing you want to know is yesterday's news. So let me go over with you. I'd like to share a little blessing to everybody. I love to bless every single video. So God bless every single one of you. I hope, of course, this is not foreign, but we got to stay alerted. And this isn't even the one that we saw that comes in the beginning of the month in the Caribbean. This is a totally different storm. So this could be Hurricane, Tropical Storm, Hurricane uh, Zeta. And the one, other one that we saw that gets to a Cat 4 would be Ada or Ida, or however they want to pronounce that. Psalm 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Salah. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know I... Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven, from the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Amen. God bless y'all today. I hope y'all continue to have a great Friday. I will stay on this for you. As it updates, I will release new information. Y'all have a blessed day today. All glory does go to God. Amen, guys.